In this video, we are going to look at lab 3.3.7, where we are going to install triple channel memory. So it gives me some background about this is a new computer, it has an i7-960 processor, and now we're going to install memory in the computer. When we look down, it says we need to install a total of three memory modules and configure them to run in triple channel mode. So that's a key thing here. And it gives us a clue as well that memory should be installed in matched sets. So they need to have the same capacity and the same speed. So all three boards need to have the same capacity and same speed. Now one key thing here is it says we need to select the largest and fastest memory supported by the motherboard. So the key word there is supported, right? So we may have faster memory available or bigger memory larger memory, but it needs to be supported by the motherboard. So we're gonna install that and look at the motherboard recommendations. And then we're going to go into the BIOS and check and make sure that all got installed. And it gives us some questions down at the bottom of things to think about as we're picking this. So as it says, the maximum capacity of a single module, maximum speed supported. So let's jump in and look at that. I'm going to, Switch over to the motherboard and we'll zoom in here. And when I click on the motherboard, I see it on the right hand side and I can click on the little eye to open up the documentation for our motherboard. So I'll make that a little bigger. And we know that RAM is going to go up here in this section four. If you aren't sure, you can look down through the list, but we can see right here in location four, it supports DDR3 DIMM slots, and you want to pay close attention to how they are numbered. So in this case, the first one all the way to the left, that is A2, whereas the blue one to the right is A1. You might, I know I would think it would be the reverse, A1, A2, B1, B2, but it's not. So that's why looking at the documentation is really important. So now that we know where they are, we know the, the letter number of the slot. If we scroll down, let's read through the system memory section. So it comes with six DDR3 slots. Um, and as it mentions, DDR3 has the same physical dimensions as DDR2, but they have a different notch in them. So you wanna pay really close attention to the notch that otherwise it won't fit in there correctly. Okay, and then it's showing us the different configurations. So if we're gonna go triple channel, we have to plug our sticks of RAM into A1, B1, and C1. So we don't start all the way at the left like you might think. And then I'll skip down because we wanna do triple channel operation. And it tells us there again, we need to be in A1, B1, C1 for triple channel. Okay, so let's look at what's this what specs are on here. So you may install one gig and two gig. So, so that's the max we can do there is two gig. And then the other thing it says, the motherboard supports memory modules up to 1600 megahertz. It's only supported when you do triple channel. So when using DDR 1600 mod modules, it's recommended to install them in those slots we were talking about, A1, B1, C1. So a couple clues there. First, the max we can do is two gig, and the max memory or the max speed is 1600 megahertz. So now if I come over here and I look at my memory, you can see I have a bit, really big long list, but what we wanna do is find the max. So here's our two gig. Okay, two gig, 1600. That was the max we supported or the motherboard supports. If we go down, we do see four gig, uh, 1333 and four gig, 1600. But, and if we go down, there's even a four gig, 1800. But from looking at the documentation, we know the max that we can support is two gig, 1600. So I'm going to drag those over. And remember we need to do A1, which is the blue, B1 and C1. Okay, now that we have our RAM installed, I'm gonna switch back to the front. 
Looks like our monitor is turned on, so we don't need to turn that on. And I'm going to hit the power button. As it's booting up, you're going to press F2 on your keyboard or delete. Either one will get you in. Now when I look at the system information, I can see that my channel memory channel mode is triple channel. And it's showing my sticks of RAM in there. So I should be able to score my lab and be okay. And we're good to go. Thanks for joining me.